Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to use an impasto technique to paint a hydrangea. If you enjoy the video then please hit the thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my videos then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to leave me comments. Thank you for watching. For this painting of a hydrangea I'll be using Liquitex flexible modeling paste. It's a gel medium. Here's what it looks like inside. It's just a thick paste really. So here we go. I have a 12 by 16 canvas, a selection of palette knives. I'm mixing the gel medium directly in with the paint. I'm just going to make a rough outline of a hydrangea blossom. And I'm using just this, it's a Bob Ross um, palette knife that I have had for years and years. Okay, so that's pretty good, I think. Now I'm going to use raw sienna just to give myself a stem. And perhaps there's a leaf coming off. We won't get too fussy because this is a quick dis demonstration. Um, I'm using a brush. I think this is a, this is a tin Royal Soft Grip. I probably got it from Michaels years and years ago. All my things are very old, as am I. Okay, I'm going to, you know how the florets come off. We're going to see the back of this and we're just going to see. That'll be better when I firm it up, but just getting things in place for now. Okay. So I'm going to mix a little more of the gel in with my prism violet and put some of that just roughly around. I'm using a smaller palette knife with a rounded tip. I don't know what size. It's long forgotten. And we're just putting colour on at the moment rather than strokes. Not that you really do strokes with a palette knife. So here I'm going to add a little white to the blue and pick up some more of this gel, mix it all in and get a paler blue colour. And we'll try doing more florette kind of things. That's nothing like florets. getting a lot of texture. Which I love.
Okay, I'm back to my brush. I'm going to add a little green to my raw sienna and firm up my stem a little bit. I like to work on my painting overall. I don't like to develop one area over another. So we'll keep coming back to it. And I think I'm going to use a palette knife and put on some green with some of that medium in. I oh, I'm mixing raw sienna with some green and some of the gel. going to lay that on the leaf. Don't know if you could see me doing that. I've mixed more gel, a little more white, blue with a little bit of green in it, and I'm going to put that on. And I'm going to suggest florets. Florets come in four petals. That's how I think of them. There may be other types of um, hydrangeas than I know of. I'm not an expert in hydrangeas. I'm just suggesting petals and seeing them from different angles is how I hope. We're seeing them. And I find when I'm using the palette knife that I have to get paint on the back of the palette knife and on the edges. It's not the easiest way to paint in my opinion but I'm just doing this today to show you an impasto technique that I rarely use because I like to work with brushes mostly. But this is quite nice, don't you think so? Okay. And as you go in, the colour picks up. I'm using acrylics, and acrylics are not known for, um, you know, mixing the colour straight on the canvas. And the colours are hard to mix down in acrylics. I really like to work with water mixable oils. But for a change, it's nice to work with acrylics. I think this is working out better than I actually expected. Okay. We'll make it a bit shadier down the back here. You get lovely texture with this medium. Liquitex Professional Flexible Modeling Paste. And this technique, if I didn't say it before, is called impasto, which is an Italian word meaning paste. It sounds delicious, doesn't it? I think I'm going to turn my canvas upside down 
because sometimes it's easier to get the shapes you want. There, we're doing better now. Want to see some of those shapes, those petal shapes on the bottom. Just keep working away until you get where you think you want to be. Now, I think that's where I want to be. I think it could be a little lighter on top. So I'm going to turn it up and I'm going to add white. White paste mixed with uh, titanium white. Okay. I haven't done a background for this painting as you can tell. This is just straight canvas I'm painting onto, untouched. But you can see how to paint backgrounds in my video, Painting Backgrounds. It pretty much works for any kind of flower painting. I really like this. I think that's good enough for the flower and we'll finish out the stem. I'm going to do the stem with a brush and I used a baby wipe to wipe off um, the bits I messed up when I ran the palette knife down. I'm adding a little prism violet in there and the raw sienna and the green. I'm just trying to bring it down a little darker. I'm adding some alizarin crimson I just and ultramarine blue. I like my stems to have a good shadow on them and I wasn't getting that with the violet. So here we go, that's a little better. Usually I do my darks first and then my lights. Um, my lightest lights at the very end. Yes, I think we always need to put the alizarin in there. And just keep going over until you get to where you want it to be. I think I could use a fine palette knife, that's not too messy. A little more green and that dark blue on my leaf too. We're going to do this underside. A little more green. And I'm going to put some yellow along with that lovely luscious paste. my brush to put some yellow on that stem. I think that's pretty good. I think it would look great if we had a background too. 
but we don't. We know we have to look at the other video for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is my cat, Twin. Hey, Twinny Twinny, say hello. Oh, you're so sweet. It's always fun messing around with gel medium and doing something a little different. Next time I'll use cornstarch and see how that works out. So have fun. <laughs>